These instructions are for the instructor to use VoiceThread. So first you sign in, then you go to create And when you create, you go to upload, so you can put a picture. I'll get one out of my computer. Since it's a phone call, it really doesn't matter what picture you put in there. It could be anything. It could just be a background. It could be a document. It could be a video. Um... I'm just going to put a picture of my child here just because that was an easy one. Since the picture is uploading, the next step is you add comments and the teacher will have to record her first part of the conversation so she'll click comment. And if the teacher wants to appear on the screen as a video, she clicks on the little camera, webcam. But if, she, if only the voice, if she only wants the voice to appear, she clicks on record, allow. Now I can start talking and you say whatever you need. If you need to draw around the picture, you could. And then you click stop recording. Now I can start talking, and you say whatever you need. If you need to draw around the picture, you could. And then you click Stop. Re if you're done, if you like the recording, you go ahead and save. And now it's recorded there. Now, to make this possible for, other, for the students to see, this is the most important part, is you go to Publishing Options. You want to put Allow Anyone to View, Anyone to Comment. You don't need to make a show on the browse and you could moderate comments if you want to make sure that the comments are okay to be public before they go public, but this means they will not show until you moderate, which might be hard because you would have to check it every every other day. So you might want to these leave this blank and just trust the students. You click save. You could go to the next step which is share. You could add your students' names here, put their email, their name, and then cl click on the Add button. And then you just, when you want to send to this person, you will click over their name here. You click on the little I, the little comment. You don't need to click on this one, just the I and the comment, and then send invite. I will not do it because I don't want to send it to this person right now. Um, then you could choose to embed this code, which that's what you should do, is get this link, copy this link, and put it on the class, on the, the website where the class is at, so students have access to it. You can do the embed code where the whole voice thread will appear, or you can just put the link and students will be able to go to it. Okay, so again, the most important thing is the publishing options. Make sure that it says allow anyone to view, allow anyone to comment. Okay, so that would be how you create your voice thread. Once you created it, it saves automatically. So when you go to your voice, uh, you need to put your, a title on it. That would be a, spot, a step that you have to take. So then here I'll just put the name testing or NAU. You don't need to put a description if you don't want and you just save it and it's here now. So if you need to get back to it you can click on it and it's there and you'll be able to listen to all the comments that have been made. Now I can start talking. So this is how an instructor will create a voice thread.